you doing, Errol? Doing great. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, I know this kind of goes back a ways, but uh, do you feel that, you know, the last time you left England in 2012 without an Olympic medal, that you have maybe have something to prove uh, to the English this time around? Uh, nah, I don't, I don't feel like I, I have anything to prove. I mean, with the Olympics, I mean, it's a lot of politics in that, and um, it's a lot of different things that, that, that goes on and during the, you know, during, them, during the Olympic times and Olympic games and stuff like that. But, you know, I feel like that's in the past. You know, that's an amateur, it's the pros now, you know. I feel like I have a lot to prove to myself. I feel like, you know, of course I have a lot to prove to the fans overall that you know, I'm the best what's the way and you know, I feel like, you know, I'm the best fighter in the what's way division. That's the only thing I feel like I have to prove that I'm the best what's way fighter. That's about it. You know, you you you've called out uh, Keith Thurman in the past. Uh, is that something that you're looking? I know you're not looking. You're not looking past uh, Cal Brook, but is that something that's on your mind? Uh, you know, at this point in your career, uh, it's not something that's on my mind right now. But you know, it's definitely the the fight I want in the future, and I think it's, you know it's a fight easy to make. You know, but right now I have to get past Kill Book for that fight to even be possible. All right, man. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Eddie Goldman with No Holds Barred. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Uh, Errol, I want to ask what your reaction was uh, to his last fight against Golovkin, where he's moved up to middleweight. We know the fight had to be stopped when he got the eye injury, but after the first four rounds, the fight was basically even. One of the judges even had him ahead, and I want to know what your take was and what you learned from that fight that you could apply to fighting him. Um, I mean, I mean, most people, like, most people, boxing people, would would thought Kill Book was was going to be a hit on scorecards. He's the fastest, smiling, you know, quicker fighter. So he was going to take some time for the slower and bigger Triple G to catch up to him, and catch up to him in the later rounds, in the middle rounds. So um, you know, I thought, you know, I even thought Kill Book was going to, you know, win the first half of the fight. And Triple G was going to catch up to him. But um, you know, overall, you know, Kel put put on the um, showed a lot of heart, showed a lot of grit. You know, to standing there sometimes and the chase and shots and the trace and shots with with Triple G. But overall, you know, I don't really look into that fight. You know, I see some of the shots that Triple G landed, and some of the things he did. But I mean, we don't take too much from that fight. What about the fight that he had a couple of years ago with uh, Sean Porter? That uh, obviously a different Sean is a different style than you, but he won that fight in California in the United States, uh, traveling there, and he was able to win that fight. Is there anything you've been able to get that from that fight that you can apply? Oh, uh, definitely. I mean, we're looking at a couple of fights, and that's one of the fights that you know we've been looking at, and we can apply a couple of things to. I mean. It was a close fight. It was a split decision. I thought he could have went either way. But it, it's one of the fights we've been looking at. But, I mean, Sean Porter, he's a different fighter for me. Way different. And um, But, I mean, we, we take little things from, from everybody. Hey, uh, would you like to make a prediction for this fight? Uh, the prediction is don't come home on the airplane with the belt. All right. Okay, thank, thank you. Good luck. Thank Eddie. you. 